Hey again, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, we set up our custom material that we then applied to our character uh, via the Mesh tab of Persona. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about blend spaces uh, before we actually jump into the editor here and build one. So let's continue. Uh, first things first, let's hop over to PowerPoint land here because I want to talk about blend spaces really quickly. Uh, for starters, what is a blend space? Well, a blend space is a way to blend between multiple looping animations uh, based on a property value. And the easiest way to explain this visually is probably with a graph, uh, which is actually what you're going to be editing inside Unreal Engine 4 as well. Uh, but let's talk about this here for a second. So to demonstrate this, let's just use a graph. So here's my graph, and all it's doing is charting an amount of speed, say like on a number line. So we have a certain speed value, say with this being zero. Uh, and actually, since we have a reason for this, which I'll explain in a moment here, we'll set this to 375. So this would be in centimeters per second that you are moving in game. Now, at a value of zero, you might have one particular animation playing. You might say, all right, well, if my character is not moving and my speed is zero, well, I want them to just be standing there, basically in an idle pose. Now, as speed increases and the character begins to move forward, or in any direction, really, moving more and more quickly, uh, then we might want to play a different animation. So let's say somewhere around here is 80, and if we are moving at 80 centimeters per second, well, then we want our character to start walking. So as speed continues to increase and the character is moving faster and faster, at some point, you may have guessed it already, we're probably going to want him to be running. So there is our running, and hopefully he's not growing in size like he is here in my horrible stick figures. Uh, but you, you kind of get the idea. I guess to help illustrate it, we can add some speed lines like so, so that he's running very, very fast. Uh, but you get the idea. What we actually described here is the premise of a blend space. Uh, as this property value, that property value being speed, increases or decreases, uh, we blend between different animations. So in this case, we'd be blending between an idle, blending between our walk, and blending between a running animation. Now, as I mentioned, this is the core behind a blend space. But one important thing to note is that this is what we would call a one-dimensional blend space, or 1D for short. Blend spaces can run in two dimensions. Uh, we're not really going to be exploring that in this video series, uh, but I did want to mention that. You could actually have a graph that is two-dimensional, like so. Uh, so say here's my graph. Uh, and on the one hand, we would have speed. And on the other hand, this could be direction. And for speed, we could say that this is 0, and this is 375, just like we did above. And for direct direction, we could do something really cool. We could say, OK, this is negative 180, and then we'd have 0, and then positive 180. And so in this way, you could say at 0, so like here, you would probably be at idle. No matter what's going on, our speed is 0, our character is not moving, so he'd be playing an idle animation. And then say as your speed increased all the way up to 375, somewhere around here, uh, in this this instance, because you're centered up along that directional line, uh, you'd be running forward. But once you got over to somewhere over here, somewhere in between uh, 0 and 180, uh, somewhere around 90 degrees, you'd be running to the left. And then on this side, you'd be running to the right. Uh, and then on the ends, this is actually kind of funny when you think about it, uh, we are at positive 180 and negative 180. This is essentially the same direction. Uh, so we would be running backwards. Now, you can blend between all of these so that as your speed increases and you start running forward, then you can change directions like so. Uh, this is all really cool stuff. Uh, it's really cool. This is actually how you would be setting it up inside the editor for a two-dimensional blend space. Uh, bad news time is that we are not going to be doing this in this video series. I uh, just wanted to kind of get our feet wet, so we are going to be focused on the one-dimensional blend space. But I did want you to know it was there for future reference uh, when you start to import your uh, own characters that have animations that uh, for strafing or uh, uh, things like that. Just wanted to let you know it was there. So with all of that out of the way, and now that you have an idea of what a blend space is, uh, we're actually going to hop back to Unreal here and start building our blend space. Uh, so to do that, inside the editor here, let me actually close the persona. We don't need that anymore. Uh, I'm going to right click. Actually, I'm going to go to the content browser inside of our animations folder first. I'm going to right click in there and go up to the animation section. And about halfway down, uh, you'll see the blend space options. There's the 2D blend space. 
And then there's the blend space 1D. This is the one that we want to select. So go ahead and select that. And it's going to ask us to pick a skeleton. Now, we only have one. Uh, if you had multiple skeletons, you'd have to define the one that you want to use. But for us, we're just going to use the SK underscore mannequin skeleton. So go ahead and select that. And it's going to ask us to enter a name. Let's just call this the idle underscore walk underscore run blend space. And then let's go ahead and double click to open that up. Now notice it opened up Persona again, but it opened it to the animation tab of Persona. Now we can start animate, uh, editing that animation, uh, this blend space animation. So in the center here, uh, there's an option that we need to check actually to help uh, visually illustrate what's occurring here. This display editor vertically, go ahead and click that checkbox. That's going to create our graph for us over here on the left, to kind of help visually see what's going on. And then in the right here, we have our parameter settings. So we have some settings that we want to define. Uh, the first is the property value that is going to drive this blend space. And as we mentioned, this is going to be speed. So go ahead and enter uh, speed for that property value. And then also, as we mentioned, uh, this is the range that we want to define that controls this property. So uh, the speed value, so it's going to be zero and then 375. And as I mentioned, I would uh, briefly explain how I arrived at that random number. Uh, I played around with these values in the editor uh, for my character. Once we get in game and you can see our character actually moving around, uh, this was the value that looked best with our run animation. So at a full uh, value of 375 with run, that is what looked best for our character trans character's translation in game. So. That's how we arrived at that number. It's not just a magic number that I pulled out of thin air. So go ahead and hit the Apply Parameter Settings, and watch what happens to our graph over here once we do so. So go ahead and hit that. Our graph will update, and there is our number line with speed at 0 and speed at 375. Now we get into the fun part, the really cool part. So we have all of our animations inside the Asset Browser here, over here on the far right. I'm actually going to expand this just a little bit so you can kind of see their names. So uh, as we mentioned, uh, at our speed value of 0, we want to be idling. So all we got to do is click our uh, third person idle here. We can just left click and drag and drop that right on top of our graph here at that point. So bring, bring it all the way down to the bottom here and release it. And you're going to see it's going to create a point for us on our graph. And our character begins idling. Now uh, what we want to do is let's grab our walk. And what we're going to do, same thing, uh, just drag and drop that, probably somewhere around here, around the first uh, grid line, somewhere around there. And now you can see our character starts walking. Now the cool part is we're getting a preview. Uh, it should be enabled by default. If it is not, go ahead and uh, check the Enable Preview Blend Space. But as we drag our mouse up and down along this blend space, you can see our character is now blending between those two animations. Pretty cool stuff. So the last thing that we need to do is pull in our run animation. So let's go ahead and grab that. Same process. Drag it all the way up to the top here and let it go. So there we go. We have our running animation, which can blend to our walking animation, which can blend to an idle, based off this property that we can drive through blueprints. That's actually going to cause us to pause here as we're about uh, nine minutes in, and I want to wrap this video up. Uh, but what we've done is created our blend space. We have everything that we need uh, for our character to move uh, around in-game, essentially. Uh, in the next video, we're going to get an intro to animation blueprints before we set up the logic that drives uh, how our character moves in-game. So let's pause here, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.